I'll say this was a rough, rough winter. Uh, I sure hope we're done after today. Friday before Easter. It was a long, long winter. So tomorrow, Saturday, um, April, oh crud, um, third, uh, that 6120 and the Packers going to get the heck out of here. Packers going back on the disc, that's going to get used to unload uh, soybean seed. Um, so it'll be another opportunity to look through my phone. Because this camera makes its own Wi-Fi and I'll be able to just set you guys. Um, actually, believe it or not, I had you guys set right there on that brush guard. You were able to see me move this thing around to get out from underneath the... Uh, pallet forks when I took them off and then the uh, 7810 is going on the disc I don't know I have to get over that way there to corner to miss that trailer so I don't wipe it out uh, the so they match uh, the 7810 is going to go on the disc um, we got everything all color color coded here. Um, red and green for red and the red and green side, and then the left don't get color coded. Um, and the same over here for this side. Um, that's for the Packer because that don't have no colors to it. And then where are my other, right here. Here's my other hoses. And then I went and done uh, red, red and yellow. So let's go see what the 7810 has. Cause I might have to end up doing the same deal as this. So they match. So the 7800 is the planting tractor for the grain drill because the because it needs down pressure on the press wheels to uh, be able to make the seat go in the ground. And these are opposite of the 6120 Mike P7810. You uh, caught this before anybody else did. Is uh, 6120, they go up and down for each valve. You know, green on this end, blue on this end. Um, and these are just side by side. This here is color coded, uh, yellow here, uh, green here. And I think I might, yeah, this one, the top sets for the Packer. So up and down wings set and the Packer set. Uh, not that the 6120 will be seeing the grain drill. It'll never see the grain drill because it just has the basic hydraulics on it. And, uh, we don't uh, don't understand why they're not working, or it just for it being an E series that don't have what the M or the R series does. It would be basically the same thing as my John Deere Gator. My uh, 835 M wouldn't have the features that the R has, and I'm gonna have to. Uh, these are already already color coded sweet green there and yellow there cool that makes my job a whole lot easier so i'm gonna go and try and figure out what hoses go where uh for those of you that don't know what this tool is um it basically is a ground leveler uh, it's got a rolling basket in the back 50 some grease fittings so that's one grease fitting per one of these things um and then uh, there's some other odd grease fittings for the turnbuckles right over there where my finger is um then there's some grease fittings here and all that um so what this thing does is you're supposed to go fast with this thing well, you're not supposed to go fast. You 
are supposed to go fast um, because speed is key with this thing. Um, oh, if I find the video, I'll put a link in the description um, of this thing in action. Um, but it, it does a really nice job busting up corn stalks. Um, better than a disc or a plow or a... Uh, some farmers keep saying them land dolls are a pretty good tillage tool. Haven't really run one run one compared to this. Kind of like to though. Hmm. Maybe uh, growing corn twenty twenty would let let me borrow his. <laughs> let us, not me, us. <laughs> the farm. Ah, uh, don't get me wrong. You still have to have a disc after you plow. Uh, you just can't go and run that southward across plowed ground or else it won't do anything. Because um, them big claws, they just won't go through that basket. Um, need a good, need a good disc to uh, break up the, break up the clods and all that. And then the packer pull behind the disc to uh, level the ground out. Uh, so that way you don't got to burn fuel and be unproductive in tillage so if that that is what's going to happen tomorrow saturday uh don't get me wrong you still